Ooh. Ooh. I thought, we're going to fight here in a minute, you know. Harrison attempts to cool things down. That's when you say, look, police are going to come down here and have a chat. If you've done nothing wrong, stay. I saw like these a few girls and they were like yelling at this gentleman and they were saying, oh, delete the photo, delete the photo. They're obviously sunbaking topless. No? What? What? You can't take photos like that. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 here we go. Look, Lee, Lee, which one? Which one? This one? That one? Yeah, okay, okay. yeah delete, delete. Okay. Oh, look, delete. I think we're um, uh, a bit violated. I can't even come to the beach and sunbake without um, Jodo sneaking on me. He was just right there, but like kneeling with his camera pointing right at us. Like, it wasn't like even hidden or anything, it was just right there. Mate, I can call the police. No English. No English. Like, woo, 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 woo. Police. Yeah, he said he didn't speak any English and he said he didn't know what he was doing, but it's, you know, it's hard to say. I think he knew exactly what he was doing. Delete. You're a creep. Yeah, I'm just gonna take your memory card, eh? There's too many. If if I don't take this, you will go to the police, go like this, like the police will come, okay? Because you can't, no, you can't take photos of the girls. Oh, it's something that a lifeguard can do if you think there's photos on there that shouldn't be, you can uh, dispose of it. When you get the card, got the, got the heavy duty shears out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it in half. There's no more card. Everyone's happy. He's going home. Case closed, yeah. Jake, one, pervert, zero. Young girl came up and she was shaking like a leaf. She said, oh, I need your help. He's oh, old, he's really hairy, he's Sunday walking out now. Driving. She said she'd been indecently assaulted in the surf. That's, oh, it, that's oh, him. Yeah. Oh, he's sort of like walking around, like, like yeah. looking at everyone. Oh, I, I can't believe it. Like, no, 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 it's scary. I've just got this young girl here next to me. She's just in between the flags. Some guy was swimming up and grabbed her right on the crutch. Cool, of course. I knew as soon as the girl had said that she'd been indecently assaulted that I had to call the police. This is our Harry's now lifeguards down at Bonnie Dock. You got him? He's right behind those two girls there. Yeah, okay, mate. Yeah, and see, he, he just see, got see. on a girl. We need someone down here now. He's just done it again to another girl out on the sandbank. The police said to me that we could make a citizen's arrest if we wanted to, we could grab the guy. OK, I spoke to the police. Uh, we've got him on camera up here. They're, they're on their route now. If we have to detain him, the police are giving us the right to do it. I'm not going to approach him yet until the cops get him. I'll just uh, stick right on him. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah. So he's looked at us, look. Looking around to see if anyone else is looking. Do you see how he waited for the wave and then like crept over to him? How is it coming down here undercover if you need him? The police said to me that until they get down here that we could make a citizen's arrest if we wanted to, we could grab the guy. Hey Joel. Hey, excuse me. Hey, listen, I'm a lifeguard. Listen, uh, did, did the guy touch you out there on the sand bank? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, okay, you we've got a problem. Yeah, he just had to catch his He was following you from behind. I was watching on the camera okay. up in the lifeguard tower. Oh. Yeah, so it's, 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 it wasn't in, an innocent act at all. In the last 15, we've got him twice going near girls and touching them. It's kind of scary that one of the chicks he grabbed, she actually apologised to him, thinking that she was in the wrong. Hello, I'm hey. 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 Oh, he's actually yeah. there now, undercover. Just standing oh. there. <gasps> Do you want to go just pull him out, you reckon, now? Yes. Oh, look. Oh. See? Yeah. Yeah. He just fully flinched. Yeah. He bumped into me yeah. and then I kind of turned around and he was right there and he just like grabbed my leg but like and said sorry. Yeah. <laughs> just to grab my leg. I was like, oh gross. So Alright. The detectives, they asked me to go out onto the sandbank and bring the guy in. 
we go. They're going in, they're closing in. what you've been doing. You have a chat to the police. Very bad. I'm new here. I'm, I, I'm old here, and I'm your witness. I'm new here. I'm just, just listen to me for a second, OK? My name's Constable Aston from Bondi Police. At this stage, you are under arrest for assault. Just listen to me, listen to me. I'm new here. Just let me talk for a second. At this stage, you are under arrest for assault. Do you understand okay. that? Yeah, I'm not. Okay. I'm so Just sorry. Let me finish, okay? Yeah. I'm, we're going to ask you some questions. You don't have to say or do anything if you don't want to. Our job as lifeguards is to protect the public. You know, if anything ever does happen along these circumstances, we want people to come to the tower and let us know, and we'll deal with it. As soon as we parked the buggy, one person started coming out saying someone had touched someone's leg. And then, yeah, we just got a few more witnesses. They were just popping out of everywhere. Yeah. The true daughter's just come out of the water. There's a bloke out there being dodgy as anyone. Oh, here we go again. Oh, here we go. He's got a blue swimming cap on. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's out there groping people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys, I don't know if it's the same guy, which had two separate incidences of a guy with blue cap. Uh, roping oh, little kids in between the flag um, <laughs> to the point where they actually had to yeah, yeah. this guy off. So we're just trying to get him and we'll take action with him. Just see if you can monitor it first before we start going haywire again. Oh, no, he's going towards the pit. Yeah, 100%. Um, we're just watching him right now. Singlets waits for further updates from Glick and Mario. Amongst the crowd, the man spreads his arms out as wide as possible using an exaggerated diving style. Look, this girl behind. Look, he's touching. He's touching. Is he? He's touching. Yeah, he touched. Oh my god. He touched. I have to yeah, 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 yeah. And then me and Mario saw him do it again, and we were just like, yeah, that was definitely it, but like, was that a mistake? We saw him do it again. We were like, no, that wasn't a mistake. Okay, yeah, boys, yeah. we can't let this go on any any longer. We just saw him did. touch someone. We're going to have did. to go in, I reckon, and get him out. Do what you got to do. We'll be watching from up here. I was just like, nah, nah, this is, this is not OK. It's not appropriate. Got to kind of take some action. Watch, he's going next to yeah. the You also agree, it's that oh. guy with the blue cap. Yeah. He definitely did yeah, it. Did. As he's being monitored by lifeguards, the man removes his swimming cap and sneaks back to shore. Welcome uh, to the PNM. Yeah. Yeah. Do you just go in and stop him? Do you want to just come with me? Huh? Do you want to just come here with me? You can't touch people in the water. You can't touch people in the water. No. Yeah? No. Come, just come take a seat here with me. I kind of escorted him out. He was playing dumb, like he was telling me he couldn't come really speak here. English, but he could. It was good enough. I suppose you don't want to call the cops. What's the matter? Speak English? Because you touch people. You can't touch people. Touch people? Yeah. yeah. People? That's right. Yeah, you were touching people. This was very panicked or very concerned or... What's because why, why were you touching people in the water? No. Yes, you did. But we saw you, mate. Don't lie. Huh? We saw, we saw you. you. We saw you and other people as well saw you. As Glick and Mario wait for police, the man's wife arrives to find out for herself what's going on. This is my wife. Oh, yeah. Oh. I, I, I yeah. don't know. Oh, it looks like his wife's there. Uh, we found out that your husband was touching people in the water. He was touching people touching in the water. People. Yeah. When the wife came up, thought she would kind of lose it at him, but it was the opposite way around. She was like, no, it's the goggles. It's the goggles, I promise you. He can't see. It's foggy through the goggles. and trying to protect him. When, I just, he, I just, when he is swimming, he... No. There's no excuse. No, 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 he no. can open his eyes. It's so frustrating, you know, like, we saw you do all this stuff. Many people have seen you try to do this, and you try to, like, tell us that you can't speak English, it was the goggles, you know, like, we weren't falling for it. Even no, mistake, no, no, no. mistake like that does not happen 
no. ten times, you know, once, okay, maybe. What? Uh, They're coming, the cops are right here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we've had multiple people come up to us yeah. uh, in the buggy, yeah. and they've all complained that he's groping women, children, kids. So, Nina, so what's happened in the water? This guy's came with you, is that right? He dives under and grabs me around, and I had to grab his hand off and just, like, push him away. Our primary job is to make sure no one drowns and take care of the water, but with that being said, like, this is also just keeping people safe, out of harm's way, and, you know, just keeping bad stuff out of the water. The man and his wife are due to fly home tomorrow. At Bondi Police Station, he was charged with three counts of sexually touching without consent. That was not OK. Don't come back, mate. <laughs> Don't come back. Our job as lifeguards is about making sure everyone in the water and on the beach has a nice, safe day. But the behaviour of some beachgoers gets in the way of that plan. I'm going to send sort of Jacko. Yeah, mate, go. Mate, can you just come back up here for a sec? Uh, yeah. He came up to us and he was like, oh, will you take a photo of me? But as he stood up, he, like, started taking photos yeah, of, of us. us. And then we've seen him do it, like, three times. And he was over there before, like, trying to kiss these girls. So I took a video of him on my Snapchat. Today isn't the first time lifeguards have received complaints about this man. Beardy and that had thrown him off the beach a couple of times already. Inappropriate touching can be regarded as assault. After pressing his hand towards this woman's breast, the man tries to kiss her. Hey! Come here! What, what the f are you doing? Me? Kissing girls, touching girls over there. Don't touch! Yes, I just saw that. Yeah, yeah stop it. Yeah. Get your gear and go. Okay, Get your gear right. and go. Okay. Otherwise, the police will come. Today, the man is back and he's up to his old tricks. He's f***ing ass on these chicks. Look, she's putting her top on and that. The man offers to do up the woman's bikini. Reedy can't sit back any longer. I sort of summoned my heavy chest and went down there and tried a bit of a heavy-handed approach. Get off the beach. The man refuses to admit fault, but Reedy isn't backing down. Get off the beach. And he took off, he just sort of started running. He, it was obvious that he knew what he was doing was wrong. The mention of the police gets the man's attention. But remarkably, he only relocates to the grassy area at South Bondi. The guy was so cocky that he didn't care what we were saying, total disrespect for us, so I called the cops. Do you reckon you guys could send a, a couple of crew down if you're not too busy? We've just got this guy, we've thrown him off the beach a couple of times. Like, and he's just hassling chicks all the time. We weren't super busy on the beach, so I walked down to South and just monitored him till the police arrived. Yeah, they're, um, they're walking south, you won't be coming. Can't be, you've got another girl. So when I saw the police walking along the promenade, I said, as soon as he sees you, he's gonna bolt and exactly like the plan went, as soon as he saw them, he bolted. Cops are running. Reedy's getting his trice on to his own. Once out of the park, the man could disappear into Bondi's crowds. I definitely wasn't gonna let him get away. Here we go, Reedy's gonna take him down here. When I ran and approached him, I thought he was gonna run, so I was getting ready to tackle him. Got him. Reedy's got him. He sort of stopped still, and I grabbed him on the arm. It looked like he wanted to resist a little bit, but I think he saw the boys in blue coming behind me. What you running for, dude? What's your battle? Yeah. What's happening? Why, why did you run up the hill? Mm -hmm. Why did you run up the hill? Nice. Just what I thought. I'm still here. Come to the beach. Well, if you go through his photos on his phone, yeah, mate, you'll be sure. 
I don't know what he's doing with Nothing. Yeah. I come there to be. Nothing. What, what for? What are you doing it for? Police check the man's phone. But all photos have been deleted. And without any of the women present to make a statement, police must let the man go. You kind of don't invade other people's space. And this guy was just doing exactly that. He was just getting all up, all up in women's space and making them feel really uncomfortable. Pretty happy that we caught him and detained him. We don't like people like that on the beach. Huh? You are not allowed back here. No problem. Okay? Put me now. You come back with the no images. Problem. Put me. No crime. But obviously, if you come back here, you will get in trouble. Okay. Order. Having the police involved should give the guy a bit of a scare, and we won't see him around the beach for a while. Police issued the man with a move-on order, and he left the beach. Got my eyes on this guy. He's been reporting touching people in the water. He just jumped in the water again towards a lady. He's touching everyone. Just yeah, he's not right. He's not right there. Good afternoon, Julia. It's Trim from the Bono Lifeguards. How are you? Um, we have a man uh, down here who's inappropriately touching people um, in the water. You know, they pretend to bump into people, and but we've had like numerous, numerous complaints. Within seconds, more reports come in. If your officers want to come to, if you're sending a crew down, if they want to come to the tower, we could point them in his direction. Bye, bye. Can't see him now. I was thinking. Hey, mate. Sorry, bud. Yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, good. We, we've been reporting. Yeah. Thank you. In the space of half an hour, lifeguards receive six reports. Uh, a guy just came up to us in the surf, tapped me on the shoulder, said, I don't really know what he said, but he's just, you could see in his eyes, he's so drunk. When he came up to Nick, I just felt very uncomfortable, so we just wanted to make the lifeguard aware, just in case anything happened in the water. I know what's going to happen. The police are going to come down here, and I'm not going to be able to find him. I can't keep eyes on him the whole, you know what I mean? Half an hour until they get here, and then in the meantime, we've got people drowning. You know what happens? You take your eyes off yeah. the rips to follow some idiot like this, yeah. and that's when you miss rescues. When the police arrived for this matter, I was really relieved because our main priority here is, is the swimmers in the surf. The man is spotted under the beach hire umbrellas, but he doesn't get to enjoy the shade for long. I could see them chasing the alleged offender down the beach. I had no idea what was going to happen next. I could see them chasing the alleged offender down the beach. They tried to chat to the man, at which point he left the conversation and they gave chase. The whole thing looked quite surreal. I thought it would just be a standard apprehension or an arrest, but it certainly didn't go that way. When they got to the water's edge, he entered the water and they stopped. And then I later learned that it's police protocol uh, not to enter the water. As the arrest strategy is formulated, the man makes his way onto the reef at the south end. You can walk out there. We're not allowed to. Not allowed to. So the police responded with their water police boat. And once they brought their water police boat into the bay, it was decided that it was too shallow for the water police boat to come in close enough. So they needed another plan. The standoff begins and the spectators gather. Yes, hello everyone. I need everyone's attention in the water here. We've got the police's orders. We need to evacuate the water. Normally, lifeguards only evacuate the water. All these swimmers, please, out of the water. Get out of the water. During shark sightings. they got the water police boat out here and old mates here just floundering on the rocks. It's an interesting one. After a one-hour standoff, Paul Air is called in. <laughs> When that chopper come over the headland, it was like we're on the set of a Hollywood movie, mate. It was unbelievable. So the police called in all the cavalry. The boat was arriving, that was a helicopter too. It was all happening and it was something like out of a James Bond movie. After 45 minutes, the lifeguard tower begins to resemble a mobile command centre. So the police and the lifeguards came up with a third plan. And that was to send Beardy out on the jet ski to the police boat. 
pick up the water police officers and bring them in to the man on the rocks. The man has now evaded police for over an hour and a half. Beardy's picked up the two water police from the boat. Okay. And he's driven into icebergs where this guy's perched up on this random rock. Uh, it's pretty shallow in here. Such a weird situation. A jet ski, a boat, a helicopter, scores of police and half a dozen lifeguards. They just arrested him with force. And uh, before we knew it, we were just sitting there and uh, he was getting marched off the base, wrist locked with an escort of police. It was, it was quite a full on scene. After an hour and 45 minutes, the man was arrested and charged with hinder police as well as stalk and intimidate. Or? Yeah, up north. He's just been shouting at us and a couple other people and Shout young toddlers kids. as well. What does he look like? He's got blue shorts on and gray shirt. And he pulled down his pants for uh, some time. Yeah, all right. Thanks, yeah. guys. OK, thank you. Will is now stationed at the North Tower. Central to North. This is North. Uh, we just got reports of a older man behaving um, kind of dangerous towards a couple young women. He's pulled his pants down just in public. Yeah, copy that. We got one. It was a busy day. Anyone who's on this beach should feel safe and should feel, you know, protected. Um, well, we just started getting really nervous. He came really close to us and was trying to, like, come to where we were sitting. So we, we left to come here. They're yeah, pretty freaked out. It's just sort of scanning, trying to find this person that fits the description. We just want to make sure everything's all right, make sure people are safe, people are happy. And if anything flares up, we've got the police just up the road. We'll search for him. Usually that kind of stuff would get reported to us, but we don't really have the powers to kick people off the beach. So yeah, we'd get the police down here. Yeah, at the moment, he's handling it on his own. Call a fond to Central. Hey, I found the bloke, he's just in front of the gym here. We want to call the police and get them to sort the situation out. Yeah, copy, mate. He's not the well. He's pretty, uh, well, the joints are. Will doesn't want to escalate the situation by approaching the man. Mounted police are already patrolling Bondi. Noah reports the incident. Hold it low. That's supposed to be top of his pants. Hold it low. has like, been, like, touching anyone, but he's just been a menace. Yeah, blue shorts, white collar shirt. Uh, down on, on the sand or on the promenade? Just that kind of grassy patch north in the surf club. Okay. I mean, there were two police officers riding horses and they should be there quite soon. As a escalator. The man has become increasingly agitated. They were starting to get a little bit more aggressive. I think he started to notice that I was watching him. So I just wanted to know where the police were. How are you going through that three shots, mate? So when the police arrived, uh, you know, he's stamping his feet around these horses. One kick from then and it's lights out. He was trying to spook the horses and he was getting more aggressive. Police question him. Throughout summer, we get a, a fair few people who aren't in the right headspace to be in big crowds. They don't come down to cause trouble intentionally. Um, unfortunately, that's just their state of mind and they can't help it. Police issue the man with a move on order. Fortunately, the person can't help what they're doing. You don't know how someone's going to react who's not there mentally. So approaching situations like that with empathy, but with caution, I think it's the only way to go about it. Patience, empathy, and caution. All right, guys, no worries. Thanks, Sam. Talk to you later on. Okay, that's done. Focus on the water now. The topless women are completely unaware they're being photographed. Yet what the man doesn't realise is that he's being watched too. You got him, eh, Whip? All right, mate, he is so blatantly doing it. The chapo's called the police. And we've caught a bloke taking photos of girls on the beach, like real sleazy and sly. 
and we'd like some officers to come down and attend if they could. Whippet's going in for a closer look. He keeps his shirt off to stay undercover. Chapo, I could see him with his arms folded, taking photos sort of out the bottom of his arm with his camera, and then he'd just go sit down, pull his towel over his lap, and then he's just having a look at his photos. Yeah, he's having a look at them now. As lifeguards wait for police, the situation is getting worse. Another woman's just reported that he's uh, doing stuff under the towel. After he goes and takes all the photos, he's looking at them and he's um, sort of playing with himself, so... Do you see anything from there? I can't see that much detail from here, thank God. With reinforcements like this, the pervert's not going anywhere except the walk-up. Hello, sir. Hello. Well, Craig McGuinness is my name from Bondi Police Station. Uh -huh. uh, we've had a complaint that you may have been taking some photos of some of the other people on the beach today. Yeah. Has that been the case? Yeah. Are you aware that's actually an offence? No. What sort of photos have you been taking, sir? Uh, topless. Okay. And was anybody aware that you were actually taking the photos? Well, obviously somebody was, but... Uh... Yeah, but none of the people that you were taking the photos of? The guy who first spotted it, his, he reckons his wife got definitely photographed. And, uh, and another two girls down there as well. The policeman showed me the photographs with me close up, half naked. It's yes. disgusting. Unfortunately, one of the ladies whose photos appear on the camera, yeah. she would like us to take some action. Right. So at this point, you're under arrest. Okay. You don't have to say or do anything. Right. If there's anything you do say or do, it yeah. can be used in court right. as evidence. Do you understand that? I do. OK. It's people like that, they're just not wanted at the beach. They're just scum, really. They just ruin so many people's days just for their own disgusting enjoyment. So, I mean, to get rid of them makes it a better place for everyone. Yeah. You're not supposed to be taking photos of um, semi-nude women and stuff like that on the beach. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. It's not ha, oh, no. ha, ha, ha. Swat, swat. Oh, no. no matter where you're from, that, that ain't sweet. With no powers of arrest, lifeguards can only ask offenders to delete inappropriate images. They're all these, they're all top loss. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're not sorry, gonna sorry, get charged sorry, sorry. on that. It's just an invasion of privacy. They shouldn't be doing it. I think they know they shouldn't be doing it. So get out of here, you know? You go. Go, 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 go. We hate it when people come down and, and try and take pictures and film people that are trying to just enjoy their day. We don't think it's fair. Mid-afternoon, and a rogue photographer has caught the attention of beachgoers. Uh, he took some photos of her as he rolled over, and then he followed him down to the water, so... I thought I'd go and give him the heads up. Guy taking photos, we're just going to get him to come in and um, get him to show us his phone. I'll, I'll grab him. Corey locates the man near the shoreline. He was with his son, his wife and kids and grandkids and the whole family. God explained that we needed to have a look at his phone. He was doing something inappropriate and the son had no idea. So he was like, OK, yeah, go for it. And then he was shocked. Not acceptable. Yeah, yeah. You want to tell him why? Photo which you know, you understand? You understand? You understand? It's not good, mate. As the photos are being deleted by the offender's son, the boyfriend of a victim sees the images. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Yeah. There's a push and shove going on. There's push and shove. He was ready to punch on with him. You understand the problem? I pretty much had to tell him, mate. Please don't. You're going to go with the police if you do. Right. Sorry, buddy. That family just had to leave the beach, and they were shattered because they were there just enjoying it, but just one person in the family ruined it for them, so they were, you know, they were gutted. Let's just stop there. Mate, tell him. Yeah. Got to go, mate. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, got to go. We are going now. Yeah. He knew he'd been caught red-handed, and this young guy, I think what he did was more than enough for the guy to probably never pick up a phone again. Ruth and her boyfriend, Brad, are on holidays from the UK. I'm glad he didn't hit one of them because he would just 
start a scene and then it'll just make everything a bit worse and again, up the police going for it and someone starting a fight on the beach. So. When he got the phone out, I looked and there was about 10 pictures just all. It's like, you can tell it's in on it. Terrible. That guy. <laughs> We really try and do our best to uh, either have the police to deal with them or uh, make them get off the beach. Yeah, I've seen uh, two gentlemen running up to the tower and when people are sprinting to the tower, you know something's a bit iffy. Uh, what did you say? I said, jump in the buggy, take me down and show me and then we'll sort out what, what the go is. The man, a French tourist, has limited English. Then he said, little man with little girl, and I still couldn't understand. Then he made a little kiss motion. Oh, a man's tried to kiss a little girl, and he said, yes. It's a matter for police. Please try again. But Bondi's other boys in blue are currently occupied. So we got to find him, locate him and just keep monitor on him until police can come down and take him away. Man, just get down there and kind of uh, see if he's well. One of the victims recalls what happened. This 23-year-old guy, like, he was drunk, came up and, like, kissed my mate on the cheek, and she's only 15. And then he followed us into the water, um, and then, like, when he couldn't get my mate, he came to me and, like, chucked me into the water. Um, but didn't get my consent to do that. On the shoreline, lifeguards identify the man. What's the other Yeah, Brazilian brother looking black with white blue body, she's like palm tree patterns on him. I could smell alcohol on him. I just, I told him just to stay still and stuff, and he got up and ran back in the water. Um, he just chased another little girl out of the water. Yeah, cut cool. What I want to do is just try and hold him until the police arrive and those young girls will be fine and they can go carry on with their day. When I got down there and I started speaking to the guy, straight away I could pick up. The guy's straight on the defensive. On the hottest day of the year, this is the hottest place on the beach. At the time, you know, I was, I was, I was really hyped, you know. I... Then when we started talking, he kind of knew something was up and that's when he actually stood up towards me. I thought, we're gonna fight here in a minute, you know. Harrison attempts to cool things down. That's when you say, look, police are going to come down here and have a chat. If you've done nothing wrong, stay. Police are for the hour. The cop was there, you know, he goes up to him and said, look, there's accusations that you've been, you know, harassing young girls. And at this stage, he gave the bloke two options. You can come up on your own terms, or if you're going to play up, we're going to have to handcuff you, and we have to take you up that way in front of everyone. And he kept on arcing up. Without a partner, the police officer faces a solo arrest with a man who won't go willingly. And uh, that's where things escalated once again. Police are apparently arresting this guy. And obviously enough's enough. It just happened so quickly. Oh, I think the last time I arrested someone was probably playing cops and robbers in the schoolyard. Are you being serious? Like, if you can't bring the schoolyard. Police must investigate the serious allegations. I can't, I can't feel okay. my hand. Sit down. Sit down, buddy. Did you bring a wallet down to the beach, buddy? No. You don't? No. I was at the beach, I was taking a dip. Check me out. No wallet? No wallets, nothing. How did you get here? Bus. Where's your Opal card? How did you pay for the bus? I paid cash. Cash? Yeah. Where's your cash? Huh? Where's your cash? Where's my cash? I gave it to the bus. Okay, how are you getting home? Huh? 
You heard me? How are you getting home if you don't have How am I getting home? I have friends that live here in Bondage. I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't even know why you guys brought me here. Like, what did I do wrong? Approaching minors and kissing them. Bro, I didn't kiss anyone. And guess what? Said, let's go. You. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the court, and I'm We're charging. I'm charging you, and, and I'm charging this guy. Are you drunk? I'm not drunk. You're not drunk. No. Are you sure? Yeah. Are no. You, are you on any medication? Okay, to be honest, yes. I took two couple beers. Police have got him. It's really quite challenging, actually, to capture these people and get witnesses sometimes. Do you have any evidence against me? If you don't, I'm gonna sue you. Some older girls from the group arrived to make statements. I kept running away from him, but he kept following. And then that's when, like, he threw us into the, like, threw me in the water and told him, like, not to do it. And then he was like, but I didn't do anything wrong and all this stuff. But, like, he obviously did if he, like, touched us. That's just not on if you don't have, like, their permission. Something you don't want to experience when you come to the beach on a really hot day, planning on just swimming and having fun with your friends. The man was charged with indecent assault of a minor. Temperatures are rising down here at the beach, and, and also the tempers are rising of, of a few people, so we just try and mediate it all, make sure no one drowns in between. <laughs>